Sarge has had quite the football career at the University of Utah. But before we talk about his successes as a Ute, let's look at what led him to where he is today. Burgess originally played basketball growing up, but fell in love with football as a high school sophomore. Burgess played with his brother Isaiah in high school, and he's the biggest reason why Burgess became so passionate about the game. Even to this day, we still talk on the phone every day about football. Like so it's still like still something that I look up to him for. You know, I still I still ask him questions on things I could be doing things I could be doing better. He's a big influence on why I continue to play the game and why I play because I know that he loves the game and it kind of just I guess it just made us become closer. Burgess was a three-star recruit out of San Marcos High School in San Diego. He started at the U in 2016 as a redshirt freshman. He only played four games on both sides of the ball as wide receiver and defensive back. The highlight of his 2016 season were two 27-yard kick returns against BYU. In 2017, he seeked out more playing opportunities. He played in all 13 games as part of the special teams unit. He made his debut by starting one game on defense and recorded 18 tackles on the season. The next year, he slowly began to prove that he belonged as a starter. He took the field in two games against Arizona State and Oregon. Burgess had his breakout senior season in 2019. He started all 14 games as a strong safety. His role now was to play in the middle of the field closer to the line of scrimmage. He stopped the run game and guarded tight ends on passing plays. His first standout performance came in the first game of Pac-12 play against USC, where Burgess intercepted a ball thrown by quarterback Matt Fink. Not only could he read the backfield, but his quickness showed just how versatile he was in the secondary. From the very start of the UCLA game, Burgess was right there to sack quarterback Dorian Thompson Robinson when the Bruins were in the red zone. Burgess led the backfield with 85 total tackles and seven and a half of those for loss. His best game was the Pac-12 championship against Oregon. He had a career high 12 tackles and a pass breakup. His standout senior season led him to be the 2019 mention all Pac-12. There's no doubt Burgess had a profound impact on the Utah football program. He was one of the key factors behind the dominating defense during the 2019 season. They were ranked sixth in the country on overall defense and boasted an 11 and three record. NFL scouts quickly started to take note of his ability to be in on every play. The Los Angeles Rams took him in the third round as the 104th overall pick of the 2020 draft. Now we take a look at what Burgess has achieved beyond the U. Terrell's NFL success is credited to his brother Isaiah, who fostered his love for football. I definitely would say like a lot of the reason why I even play the sport of football is because of him. It's really crazy. Like I really just didn't want to play. Like I was playing basketball, but I really just played because my brother was playing yeah. and he was pretty good at it. So it kind of just like made me want to play. I think his freshman year in high school, he wore number five. So then when I got to high school, I wanted to wear number five. Burgess said he didn't want to get his hopes up on being drafted for the NFL. I did my best to stay away from like knowing that it was going to happen. I kind of <laughs> just wanted to let it happen, you know, put it in God's hands and let everything happen. Right, all right. Yes, Terrell. Hello, this is Terrell Burgess. Terrell Burgess, this is Les Snead, GM of the Los Angeles Rams. How you doing? How's it How going, doing? man? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I was wondering if you want to play some football for the L.A. Rams. I would love to, I would love to play some football for the L.A. Rams. All right. We're jacked to have you. you know? Yes, sir. That would be great. All right. Hey, our head coach is going to give you a call. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. You're awesome, bro. It worked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh. You know what? All the hard work paid yes, off, sir. I mean. Go celebrate yes, with your family. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, my God. God. What are you talking It's going to shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He told us how he felt playing in his first game. It was pretty cool. It was uh, nothing nothing short of surreal. It was one of the, it was the moment I'll never forget. Um, my first NFL game. Burgess explains why he enjoys playing for the Rams. 
can't ask to be in a better place with weather. Um, I don't know how it is other places, but I know that it's a very family oriented atmosphere here in LA. And I, I definitely appreciate that. You just, I don't know, you're, you're able to, you know, challenge each other and, and work hard every day. I've got a lot of great teammates. I love the DB, the DB room. I'm excited to see what the future has in store for us. Burgess broke his ankle in week seven and was sidelined for the rest of the season. He's looking to bounce right back for next year. And then, you know, reality strikes. I hit a little bit of adversity and, you know, it's, it's been tough to, to recover, but, you know, I can't, I've got, a, I've got a great support system from a lot of people around me. And I think it's, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to walk again. I was definitely crying that day when I started walking again. So I'm excited to see what, what, what it's, it's what I'm going to be able to, to endure once the season comes. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. It's not if adversity strikes, it's when it does, how are you going to respond? Oh, I, I can't, I can't wait to get back to next season. Things are surely looking up on behalf of the U and short sports. We cannot wait to see him back out on the field.